today I've decided to try a soxlet extraction from the fragrant peony flower petals that I collected from my garden. As you can see, I brought the bulk of the petals in in a plastic bag, and some of them have been loaded into the chamber of my soxlet extractor. The solvent I've chosen to use today is diethyl ether. I am therefore, rather than using my heating mantle, I'm using a small electric stove with a water bath to warm the flask to make sure that heating of the ether is kept to minimal and reasonable. The process is beginning its first cycle and we can see that uh, ether is condensing in the Aline condenser and dripping down into my soxlet chamber that contains a sample of these colorful peony flower petals. The first cycle is just finishing. It can be seen uh, draining out. There, it just finished draining. The uh, ether cycles very quickly in uh, my sock slot, so to do about 10 or 15 cycles on these uh, peony flower petals shouldn't take too, too long today. The second cycle is just draining right now. It only took about two and a half minutes to fill and cycle. This is running very quickly with the ethyl ether. I also don't seem to be extracting any uh, color from the flower petals so far. We'll see what we get as the process continues. Cycle number three here should turn over very shortly. It's just about ready. There goes number three. No color is being extracted from the flower petals by the ether. Cycle number five is about to siphon. There it goes. This will be my last cycle, number 10, for this experimental soxlet extraction of peony flowers, which proceeded uh, colorless all the way through. For number 10, I turned off uh, all of the heat and just the residual heat in the water bath as things slowly cool down drove number 10. At this point, I'll have to switch over to recovering my ether out of the uh, extraction mixture that's contained in the boiling flask. So I'll do that and pick up the video. I've switched over from the Soxlet apparatus and set up here for simple distillation to recover my diethyl ether into the 500 milliliter beaker on the right. The same boiling flask that was attached to the Soxless apparatus and contains my ether and my extract, if any, from the peony flowers 
is attached to the distillation rig, of course. We'll see what, if anything, remains after I've recovered my ether. My simple distillation to recover the ether as best I can is nearly complete. I've recovered approximately 200 milliliters of my ether. A bit was lost when I removed the still damp with ether flower petals from the sockslet. Some was lost to evaporation, and I of course will leave a bit in the bottom of the boiling flask, maybe 10 or 15 milliliters, so that I'm able to pour my product, whatever it is, out into a smaller container to finish it off. I had more peony flowers left, so I've decided to do a second soxlid extraction to finish them off, but this time instead of ether, I will be using ethyl alcohol, ethanol, as my solvent. So we'll give this a try and see what happens. The extraction with ether was colorless, but the extract did have the pleasant smell of the flowers. We'll see what happens with ethanol. Cycle number one of the Soxlid extraction of peony flowers, this time with ethanol, is about to siphon. There goes cycle number one. And it appears to have pulled a little color of the flowers down. Using ethanol, ether didn't touch the color. There's cycle number one is finished siphoning, and the flowers look a little faded, colors being pulled out of them with the ethanol that was not pulled out with diethyl ether. Cycle number two is now draining. We can see the liquid in the boiling flask is turning a nice rosy pink color representative of the flower petal color. Cycle number three will now begin. Here goes the third cycle. Nice rosy color of extraction in the boiling flask. Third cycle is completed. I'm going to do 10 cycles, so I'll pick up the video again when we reach the last cycle, number 10. This is cycle number 10. Nearly all of the color has been extracted from the peony flower petals in the Soxlet chamber. I'll be stopping. at this point and switching over to simple distillation to recover my ethanol. With 10 cycles completed, the extract down in the boiling flask is a nice rosy pink color. The formerly colored peony flowers themselves are now bleached pretty much to white in the Soxlet chamber, so this extraction is finished, and I can proceed with simple distillation to recover my ethanol. Here are the results from the Soxlet extractions performed on peony flower petals. 
The 80 milliliter beaker on the left contains the brightly colored extract that was extracted using ethanol. The beaker on the right, the 50 milliliter beaker, contains very little of an extract that's a waxy, oily, yellowish color which was extracted using diethyl ether. So there can be quite a difference in the results of your extraction depending on the chosen solvent. The uh, extraction performed with the ethanol has a nice reddish color to it, pinky red. They both smell slightly of uh, peony flower petals too.